Now here's the thing. I had my last bucket full of subscription flowers delivered to me a few days ago. And all I've done is literally cut them and plonk them into this green earthenware jug. They look really, really pretty, as I'm sure you'll agree. But I'm thinking a foam free flowers, just about arranging flowers in vases, or can I be a little bit more creative? Hello there, I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging classes. Now, a few days ago, I made an exhibit at a local flower festival and I wasn't quite sure what mechanics I'd use. And in the end, I used a variety of jugs and vases with water and chicken wire, which meant that the mechanics I pre-prepared as an alternative to flower foam didn't get used. This is what I had made myself a moss sausage wrapped up with chicken wire and then secured onto this dish with some string. So I thought to myself, why don't I have a go and think about going foam free in a more creative way and not always thinking that arranging flowers in a vase was the only option. And if you'd like to find out how I made this mechanic, watch on to the end of the video and I'll share a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can make your own alternative to flower foam. So it's thinking caps on now. How am I going to arrange my stunning bucket of flowers in a creative way rather than just doing a cut and plonk and arranging in chicken wire? So let's get started and see what I can come up with. My plan at the moment is to do a, an arrangement that is really popular at Flower Club and that is to create a European style arrangement with the placements made in a parallel fashion rather than having something a little more traditional with flow to it. So I have to see if that works. My only hesitation is I've got some beautiful garden flowers here. I didn't grow them myself, they came from the local flower farmer. And whether a more upright modern arrangement is going to go with the very traditional look of my dahlias. I'm going to start by taking my flowers out of water so I can see exactly what I've got. You divide them out by colour, taking care not to be too heavy handed as I don't want to damage the stems. So I've got some pinks, some deeper purples and reds, the oranges and a single white. I'm going to go really short here and see whether I can put that dahlia right down low into the moss and then part that up with a placement that comes straight up, not forgetting to make use of the buds. And that's a classic placement for a parallel design. Groupings of up my upright materials and different from our traditional way of arranging flowers here in the UK when everything radiates out from the centre. So creating a little floral hedge.
And there are the basic parallel elements, the orange, the pink, the deep fuchsia pink and the burgundy red as well. I shall add in my other flowers now, the scabious and the rebecchia, just to break up the solid lines. The scabious first for a bit of natural movement. Now I've done my main colour blocking, I'm going to intersperse my other materials throughout the arrangement, just to free it up a little bit. And then some cosmos nets for some more natural movement. And what do you think of the finished arrangement? My Dutch hedge inspired parallel design. I started off with the vertical placements of my groups of dahlias and then filled in with some of the more lightweight materials just to give my arrangement a little bit of natural movement. As ever, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, leave me a comment and share it with a like-minded friend who might be at the beginning of their journey into going foam free with their flower arranging. That's all for me for now and I'll see you again next time. And don't forget to hang on to the end of the video if you want to see exactly how I made my moss sausage as an alternative to using flower foam, which is a single-use plastic and as we're all starting to become aware, isn't very good for the environment. That's all for me for now and I'll see you again soon.